This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Thanks EA. Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Gemscroll and welcome to a look at the new live event in Sims Free Play. It's the new Fine Dining live event. This is released when the update of the same name, the Fine Dining update, is released on the 3rd of September 2019 at 8am and that is AEDT time so make sure you convert that into your own time zone to know when the update goes live and as soon as you get the new update you will get this new fine dining live event. If you want to know more about this update make sure you check the video description and in the cards where I have other videos surrounding the different events and a overview of what is in this update. But you will get this pop-up when you can start the live event and it is a live event like we have had many times before there does seem to be a bit of a theme with the updates at the moment where we get a live event at the beginning we get some reruns we get some sim chases new maternity packs so we have we should all be used to these live events now and how they work if you are not familiar with them you do get a tutorial at the start of the event where you just have to go through and do what it says you need to make some arts and crafts items and it will just guide you through this tutorial. Once you have collected some arts and crafts items, you will see that you will get the grid for the live event. In this preview build that Sims 3 Play have kindly given me so that I can show off the new update to you, we have already collected enough arts and crafts items to win all of the items, but we'll just take a little look along the grid and so you can see kind of the order of everything and everything that you will unlock. There looks to be some quite nice furniture items here. Those sofas look nice. And then the grand prize for this is the fine diner. A few tips if you are new to these live events before we go ahead and take a look at the prizes. I would say always make sure that you are doing the 2 hour and 30 option if you are able to get on the game. If you are not able to get on the game, so for example if you have to go to work or you're going to bed, if you can't get on the game that often, you know, obviously do the 8 hour 30. If you need to but the 2 hour 30 gives you more bang for your book as it were you get more arts and crafts items per hour so I would say always do that if you can make sure that you are always completing all of these daily goals in terms of the constructor coins it really does help if you can get these daily goals completed every single day as your sims are making the arts and crafts items, there will be bonus items that you can collect. Always try and make sure that you collect the bonus items. You can see that they will make, for this sim, will make 375 pottery plus a bonus of, well I've collected one, but plus a bonus of 100. So if you can try and come on the game, I mean really if you can, every kind of half an hour or so, come on and collect the bonus items. It really does make a huge difference in your final total at the end. Let's go ahead and look at the prizes that you can win. I will do a separate video on the Fine Diner, so make sure you check that out. It's linked down below in the description if you want to see that. But for now, let's start unlocking everything. I'm gonna show you the unlock, just so you can see how many arts and crafts items it takes to unlock each item. The first thing we unlock is this wondrous wall. Let's place that down. Fine gold lines. This looks very nice indeed. So the first one is free as with all of these and it's 1,200 simoleons for each wall piece after that. That looks amazing. Check that out. Wow, that's incredible. I love that. The next thing that we unlock is red carpet treatment. And with this you get six new items here. You can see a two by two red carpet. So we can kind of place these outside and oh, and a red corner as well. Oh, I like that. Look, we can kind of build. You can also get the black version. Place those down and you can see the price of them there after you've placed your first free one. And then we also have gold bollards which go along the edge, oh my goodness, and silver ones. There we go and you can see the price of those there. Let's take a closer look at these. Oh, I love it so much. The next thing we unlock is on the rocks. Purchase that. These things can be found in the decorations and the floors section of the home store. I'm just showing all of these in the new items, but obviously they are organised into their various different categories. 
We get five things here. We get grey slate tile. We'll place that down. And then we get a gold menu. Oh, wow. This is fantastic. Should we place it? Let's place it out here. A gold menu there. A rose gold menu there. And black ice sculpture. And a white ice sculpture. They are, there are the prices there as well, you can see. We'll take a look at any interactions that we can do with these after we've unlocked everything. The next thing that we unlock is flower and power. Let's purchase that. And these are found in the decorations and the lighting section of the home store. We get four items here. A tall copper lamp. A tall black lamp. Yellow flower vase. Is this just a, yeah, this is a small item. And a peach flower vase. So that is probably more suitable to go on a table. There's the prices for them. The next thing that we unlock, heater and potted plant. Unlock those. They're available in decorations and lighting. We have a silver outdoor heater. So it makes sense to place that outdoors. And a black outdoor heater. And then we have a grey concrete plant, I guess outdoors, and a white concrete plant, but I assume we can, yes, we can place it indoors. And they are, there are the places for them. Oh, they're very pretty. The next things are flora and fences. Purchase those. They are in the decorations and the fences tab. These look magnificent. New items, so we have Partition. So we've got fine black partition here and a fine white partition. And then we have round gold trellis. Wow. So this, oh yeah, it can place indoors and outdoors. Let's let's place one out and a round silver trellis. We'll place indoors. These are amazing. Wow, they are the prices. And honestly, the prices aren't too bad I don't think they are incredible good job sims free play they look amazing the next thing that we unlock is contemporary cloakroom these are found in the decorations tab and we have four items here so we have a fine dark reception spin that round and a fine white reception and then we have these coat racks. So we have a gold one. Oh wow, much bigger than I thought they were gonna be. It can be accessed from either side there. And a rose gold one. Wow, they're really quite big. The next thing that we unlock is sit aside. Purchase those and they are found in the living room section of the home store. We have four new items here. We have a fine white triple. A fine grey triple and then a side table a white one and a black one the next thing that we unlock is so fantastic which again is in the living room section of the home store and we have six items here so we have a fine white seat it's kind of a sofa set isn't it and then a grey seat that matches the three seater and then we also have two seaters love these really really love these and a gray one and then we have a table for the middle a walnut coffee table and a white one i guess i'll put it over here so i'm not blocking everything they are really nice and they're the prices there not too bad I don't think not too bad in terms of prices in terms of what we have had lately that isn't too bad at all to be honest and then the next thing that we unlock is dinner is served in the dining room section and here we go we've got six items here so we have we're gonna have to move things around a bit to squeeze these in we have a fine gold chair, a fine black chair, and then we have a small black table. Oh, look at this, this is fantastic. 
and then a large black table so you can seat four people or two people in your restaurant with these. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to build with these items. And then we also have the large white. It's getting a bit cramped in here, isn't it? We're gonna have to move some things around. Oh, we actually got two of the, of the chairs for free, whereas normally we just get one item free. We got two. Oh, this is interesting that this takes up only that one spot so they can kind of sit underneath that. Oh, I love that. And then the last thing that we win is the clink and drink in the dining room decorations and the outdoor decorations section of the home store. We have a cream curtain arch. Let's place this outside. And we have a maroon curtain arch. They're quite large. Then we have fine gold drink a little trolley I think that is and we have fine silver drinks with there a little trolley and then fine black buffet and fine white buffet wow this is amazing I absolutely love them let me just go back in so you can see the prices of those once you've placed your first free one and then you can see there that because we have unlocked all of the other items we can unlock the fine diner we will do that in another video. Like I said, check that link down below. Let's bring someone over and let's try and interact with all of these items. So the buffet table here, wow, let's see. We can fruit juice, relaxing beverage, sophisticated beverage, or fancy juice. For some reason, when I click on them, it is not allowing me to use them, which makes no sense to me at all to be honest, whether it's a glitch in the pre-build or whether it's something that I'm doing wrong, I don't know. The drinks trolley, wait for customer, and then order a cupcake drink. Look at them. I just love that so much. Lots of these items, of course, are just kind of decorative, so the curtains, you know, we obviously can't interact with. The outdoor heaters, we can turn them on. I really like the look of those. The plants we can interact with like a normal plant. The ice sculpture, oh, we can admire that for four seconds. The menu, can we, oh, we can. We can check the menu or we can agonize over choices for nine seconds or for 14 minutes. The interactions just look exactly the same. This guy's doing the nine second one. She's doing the longer one, so they look exactly the same. And then once we head inside, we of course can turn these lights on. The reception desk, we can tend reception. And once someone is at, yeah, when someone is at the reception, we can talk to reception, we can compliment staff, we can complain about service. I love it. I wonder what the complain about service scene looks like. Oh, he is mad, look. The coat racks interactions is like a wardrobe. We can browse clothes, change into sleepwear or change into swimsuit. Let's take a little close look at them though. They're, wow, are they the same just with different, oh, no, they're, you know, they're slightly different colours on the clothes as well. And then obviously we've got the chairs over here, the sofas. Acts like a normal sofa, but they are very nice. Oh, the cushions come off when you sit on them. The cushions disappear. Chairs act like a normal chair. That's strange, <laughs> the cushions move. And then these tables, we can enjoy a meal or enjoy a feast. Let's see what it looks like when, yeah, they put their plate out. When oh, they get a little drink there. Wow, I love that so much. They're fantastic. So there you go, they are, those walls are amazing, right? I really love those walls. They're the prizes in the Fine Dining Live event. To check out, like I keep saying, to check out the Fine Diner, please do click the link below or up in the cards and you can see a tour of the Fine Diner. And thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.